Well then, hello viewers, um, welcome back to part 5 of Supermetric Redesign, my playthrough. It's been about a week since my last upload, and I have, I have my reasons for it. Uh, I'll just keep it simple and basically say that a lot of people I know, friends and stuff, a lot of people are moving on to college now, people moving out and whatnot. So, and I'm I'm still stuck here, so until the time being, it's just me and my computer and whoever watches these videos, like the 30 of you or whatnot. But anyways, last time in part four, I fought Kraid, and you watched me fight him. And I'm farming enemies now. I should probably just pause this so you guys don't have to watch me do this, but whatever. Uh, last time, beat Kraid, and what he gave us was a save station. That's what he directly gave us. What he indirectly gave us was the pathway to Norfair. Ugh, I gotta jump down. Whatever. I can I can deal with this. Alright. So yeah, he he gave us the path to Norfair. And next up is the most dreaded part of any supermetroid redesigned playthrough. Oh, you die. And that dreaded part of any playthrough. Oh! Is... Firing missiles and missing. No. Uh, the dreaded part is probably one of the most dreaded runs of Super Metroid Redesign is the so-called Hell's Run. The gist of Hell's Run is to go through Norfair without the various suit and you're on limited energy supply so go figure. So in order to prepare for this we need at least three energy tanks. Without three energy tanks, it is impossible. Uh, at least to my knowledge, I mean, you might be able to do it with tool assisted. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible to uh, to do this without three energy tanks. So we must kill these things. Drop down here. It's it, it's hidden. It's very well hidden, honestly. The third energy tank is. Uh, so, you're probably wondering, well, what happens if we don't have the other two previous energy tanks? Well, thankfully, the way the Supermetro engine works, you can set an item up. Oh, I would fall into this. Uh, the way the Supermetro engine works is... Oh, I gotta concentrate. Don't want to fall into... Okay, yeah. The way the Supermetro engine works, as I said for the third time now. The way the Supermetro engine... Fourth time! Okay, you know, I'm just... The way it works is you can set an item to have a to keep in simple terms you can set it to have an index and this index if it's shared between another item say item A has the same index as item B well if item A is grabbed then item B will disappear if item B is grabbed item A will disappear you won't get it but it will disappear so this works in, this is kind of how energy tanks are set up. The first two energy tanks in the game are set up like this. So if you miss them, when you come to the elevator room that takes you down to Norfair, they'll appear there. Yes, yeah, so grab me and pull me up. Like, not really. Ouch. Alright, hopping away. And there's a hidden missile tank right back there. We're going to need to grab. This is another one of those missile tanks that just sh got skyrocket the amount of missiles you carry up. So now we're at 40. That's not the max, though. I don't even know what my max is right now. Oh, I missed. Oh, well. Oh, poo. This is all slow. It's underwater and boring. Alrighty. Oh, one second. Oh, you're kidding me. Don't make me do this. Oh, fine. I'll do it. Let me do this too while I'm at it. Oh, yeah. So basically, before we go into Norfair, I'm gonna need to stock up on everything I've got. I'm gonna need full. I'm gonna need full energy, definitely. The other thing I'm gonna need is oof, I'm gonna need super missiles. Super missiles speed things up so much. And hell's run. 
So, I haven't uploaded since... Um... I think it was Thursday? It was the last time I uploaded? Yeah. Uh, Friday through Sunday, my cousin came over, and we hung out. Monday, I went to Universal for the entire day with a bunch of friends. The ones that are heading off to college. I want to get in as much time with them as can. And... Tuesday, kind of took the time off so I could uh, let my voice heal. I lost my voice going to Universal Scream and Hollering. Roller coasters are too much fun. Again, I'm farming an enemy. And Wednesday, uh, I think I just kind of said screw it. Yeah, Wednesday, I just kind of did whatever I wanted to do. I'll just kind of just chill and hang out by myself. No, I had someone come over. Yeah. So, that's really what I've been up to. That's why I've been gone for roughly a week. And this... Yeah, I'm definitely going to take a sip of this cherry Kool-Aid sitting right here. Mmm. That's tasty. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, there we go. Down here is Hell's Run, safe stating. This is... It's been a while. So here we go. Enter Super Fail Troid. Part one, I guess. Here we go. Into the fiery depths of Norfair. That is Hell's Run. If I won't hear me talk much because I'll be concentrating. Here we go. Oh no. Crap. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, it's safe to make like one or two mess ups, small ones, but if you make big, like what I did back there might have actually cost me this run, I don't know. Looks like it has. We'll see. It's been a while since I've done this run, too. It's important that you also farm these enemies right here, otherwise, you will die if you do not. Missiles work best. Ugh. Come on. Oh, that could cost me. Super missile quit. Oh boy. This sucks. I am failing right now. Oh, here's the wor here's the worst part. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's... I'm done. No! I was right there! Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if I can't make that any better. I forgot to equip the uh, super missile. Oh my god, this cherry, this cherry cool is amazing. Mmm. Samus, you could have some of this right now. You'd probably last longer in Norfair. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Okay. Super Fail Troid Part 2. Let's go. <clears throat> so, yeah. Basically, two super missiles will get you through the entire first part of Hell's Run. Actually, the entire part of Hell's Run. The trick is... Oh, I should have equipped them before I came down. Crap. Alright, here we go. For that reason, right there. And then missiles will satisfy uh, you to get through this room. Oh, for this room and uh, spawn enemies or camp enemies. Oh, come on! Yeah, here we go. Minor flaw beginning. We're doing not too bad right now. The trick that always gets me. Is the midair morph into that little morph ball hole all the way up there you saw not too long ago? The trick to shoot the super missile is right after you get this pillar, so it breaks the door. You don't need missiles on like I do, I just actually hit the button here. Oh! I am done, I'm toast. I'm screwed. There's no way I can make this. That was too big of a mess up. If I can make this, it'll be a miracle. I don't think I can.
No, I could have made that! <laughs> okay, here we go. One more time. Equipping super missiles, going down, super fail Troid part three. Hell's run really is hell. Mm. I'm concentrating now. Yeah. I think I got it. Once you get past this first part, it's pretty easy from here on out. See, look, you're doing much better. Jerk. Health, give it to me. I need it. Give it all. Give it up. Drop it. More. M-O-A-R. Come on. Faster. Oh! You almost had me there. So, there's a little interesting fact about me. After I played Redesign, Norfair became my least favorite area in all of, in all of the Metroid universe. I now hate Norfair. Ooh, doing good so far. You have to keep running, otherwise you fall there. Woo! Made it! Yes! Alright. Woo! Woo, this stuff's getting... It must be getting better at this or something. I haven't played this part in, like, a year. Okay, equip missiles, and here we go. Part two of Hell's Run. Second part. You're gonna run, you're gonna help on this guy, and you're gonna stay here. Don't run. Get here, jump. Wall jump. Ugh. Come on, open up, open up. Missiles are your glory here. Just keep running. Oh no, I'm screwed. I'm I'm screwed. No! Oh, I didn't save save back there either, did I? Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. All right. Okay. Okay. They win. I'm gonna. Uh, let's try this one more time. I got time for it. Uh, super fail trade part four. Uh, let's do this. Bring it on, Norfair. I own this run. Not really. But still, this run can suck it. Seriously. I like the difficulty and all. And at first this was a little ridiculous. Kinda gotten used to it. Gonna be honest. Alright. The one part of enemy camping I will not skip. Kind of have to anyways. So yeah, as you saw, this is all so we can get the ice beam. And the ice beam is so we can get the various suits so we can actually traverse down here. There we go. I let my mouth slip. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, you kidding me. I think I'm done for now. I'm going to play the rest of this out perfect, I think. I'm barely going to make it if I make it. I don't think I'll make it though, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm screwed. Well, I guess, uh. Well, that's agitating. I didn't save state in the one room. In the midpoint room, huh? Well, guys, this has been Person 701. This is a super much redesign. Redesign? with some kind of accent. Redesign. This is a Metro Redesign, uh, part 5. And I owe you guys quite a few videos, so I'll probably be doing double uploads for the week. So, whatnot. And for the next few days. So, with all that aside, I'll see you guys in part 6. Hope you enjoy.